1095 Rolls Royce Silver Wraith Sports Saloon by Vincent of Reading, WVH 3, 1952. Rolls Royce's first post war model, the Silver Wraith, debuted in late 1946 and employed a chassis similar to that of the Silver Dawn and MK Vibently, though with a 7 inches longer wheelbase at 10 7 inches. The Wraith, however, was only intended for traditional coach-built bodies rather than the MK Vice pioneering standard steel bodywork. Only the bore and stroke dimensions were shared with the pre-war overhead valve Wraith engine, the major advantage of this F-head layout being its large valves and generous water jacketing around the valve seats. Manufacture of the short wheelbase Wraith ceased in 1952, with a total production of 1,144. The long wheelbase version continued until the introduction of the Phantom V in 1959, by which time 639 chassis had been completed. This unique and stylish wraith is the last trolls ever bodied by the coach builder Vincent of Reading. Opening their doors in 1805 as a carriage coach builder, Vincent would body their first car in 1899 and their first Trolls Royce a mere seven years later. Peaking in the 1920s as one of the largest coach builders for both luxury cars as well as commercial vehicles, by the mid-1950s the company had left the bodybuilding business. One of seven wraiths Vincent's would body, according to factory build records this car was ordered by the coach builder and specifically constructed for the 1952 Earl's Court Motor Show in October of 1952. It was subsequently delivered to Vincent's showroom on November 19. 1952. The Wraith would remain with Vincent's as a prime example of the crisp designs and high quality of craftsmanship until October 14, 1960 when the car was sold to F. Ash Lincoln of London, WVH3's first private owner. The car eventually made its way to the US where it was registered in July of 1975 to Mr. Drew Anderson in Easton, Pennsylvania. While the car was registered in Pennsylvania, it was stored in New York. Mr. Anderson was an infrequent user and the car languished in storage for decades, eventually ending up cocooned under a wall of boxes. When the car was discovered in 2008, it was very much as it was last part and nicely preserved. Since the vendor's acquisition of WVH3 seven years ago, it has been sparingly used but kept in good running order. Retaining its original, rich dark red leather and walnut trimmed interior, it was likely the subject of repaint sometime prior to its penultimate owner's care. Replete with luxurious touches like an in-dash RCA radio, rear seat picnic tables, sliding sunroof, and an interior switch actuated trunk lid, it is clear that this was built to represent the pinnacle of Vincent's coach building abilities and as a last hurrah to their near half-century bodying Rolls Royces. A rare opportunity to acquire a post wii example of a Vincent's bodied Rolls, this well-appointed former show car will certainly find favor wherever it is driven or shown.